This week's show brought to you by Frank Shoup, Georgetown's big name in cars. Georgetown Advantage Air, now locally owned and operated by Gene Thompson. Welcome everybody to the Scott County Cardinals Coaches Show, News Graphic Coaches Show with Coach Billy Hicks. I'm Cal Oaks. Our special guest this week is Lorenzo Williams, sophomore, one of the, part of that great sophomore class for the Cardinals. We'll be talking to Lorenzo and the coach about the week that was, and uh, it was quite a week. Obviously, one of the biggest weeks of the year with Toyota Classic. First of all, Coach, just some thoughts on that event and uh, what a special thing it is for, for Scott County. Well, I'll tell you the great thing about it, Cal, was We've been so close this year to beating some really good teams, uh, and uh, with you know, and with Evanston, Illinois, and Westchester, California, and St. John's Prep. That the other night was, was great that we was able to finish it off, and our guys could enjoy winning that game. You know, I, I felt so bad down in Nashville. We played so good, so good, and, and we come so close to beating St. John's. They beat us in overtime, and I felt bad for our team because they're sitting in the locker room been defeated, they couldn't jump up and celebrate their lane. But, but yet they had played good enough to do that. We played really good. So Saturday night was really great because we were able to enjoy the fruits of the labor, enjoy getting the big win. It's always great to, to win the Toyota Classic. For the, the people that weren't here, the, the team you played in the finals, uh, Christian Life Center of Kingwood, Texas, they had a point guard who I believe was going to Stephen F. Austin. They had a, a center who was 6'8 and looked like he could have walked off any college team in the country. How were you able to win that game? Well, I, I think, first of all, fundamentals, I, I think defensively, we team, team, okay, I, I think individually they had us outmatched by far. But I thought we played really good team offense. We played really good team defense, especially team defense. We kept uh, number three, Mac, we kept him in front of us. And we didn't go ahead and break us down off the dribble as much as he had been breaking everybody else down. And I, and, and I think by doing that, by keeping the ball in front of him, was able to be a good rebounding position. Uh, you know, Michael Marino did his usual thing. Uh, I thought Cooper Rock really, really, as he's been doing, he, he, he's really picked the shooting up. He's developed a really tough mid game. And it's hard to do because not many, most kids have a set three or they get to the rim. They don't have that mid game. And Cooper has developed that. I thought he, he stepped on this young man here, Lorenzo. Big part of that, you know, battle tough, tough with a uh, on guard Mac as Glenn did, Glenn Cupton did, and, and uh, but I, I thought it was a team. I think it was a great team effort. Lorenzo, I, I was talking about Cooper Watts after that game. He said we knew we were going to win that game, or at least we felt we were going to win that game. Did you feel that way? And, and if so, why? Uh, going into every game, we have a confidence that we can win any game. Whoever we're playing, every day we prepare and practice, ready to go every night. What was the key to the defense in that game from your perspective? Uh, on ball pressure, me and Glenn, we have a responsibility on the ball to keep the man in front of us and that help if we need it. Coach mentioned a lot of the teams you played uh, in the previous tournaments down in South Carolina and, and, and Tennessee. Did those games help you Saturday night to kind of close that one out? They definitely helped. Um, experience playing tougher teams that definitely helped. Just leading up to that game, you had some challenges in that tournament. You had a Lafayette team who you'd beaten fairly handily during the, the, the 11th region schedule come in here, and you had them by 15 points with about six minutes left, and they closed it to within one, I think, in the final minute. You got a couple of free throws from, from Cooper Robb to win the game. Was that just a case of a team that knows you pretty well and uh, that they're scrappy they, attack? Exactly, Kay. I, I, I think they knew us, and we knew them. And I, I thought the first half in the Lafayette game, God, we played really good again. I, I thought we missed some scoring opportunities. We went up 16 at the half, and I felt like we played good enough to be up 20, 24, 25. Because we had played really good that first half against them. They're a tough team to guard. You've got to contain their drive, because if they break it down off a dribble, then they kick it out, and those wings are hit. And when they got hot, they started hitting. Powell got hot, Harper got hot. You know, when they get a hot, start hitting. They can they can really put some points on the board in a hurry. So yeah, I did. You know, again, a very well coached team. They're a very dangerous basketball team. I'm I'm glad they're not in our district because it looks like they're probably going to be a three or four seed in that district down there. And 
and uh, boy, they're dangerous because on a given night, they can beat anybody in our region. Did that game concern you a little bit, Lorenzo? Almost, you know, it seemed like the lead just kept shrinking and shrinking, and I'm sure in the situations like that, you kind of look up the clock and say, when's this thing going to be over? Yeah, they hit some tough shots, some contested shots, some of them, but I always have confidence in our team that we're going to pull it out. It just seems like every team, that's the thing about Kentucky basketball, every team has that one or two shooters. Even the teams that maybe their record isn't as impressive on paper, who can fill it up at any given moment and uh, give you trouble. I've never seen one team in Kentucky that don't have somebody who can shoot the thing that's capable of getting hot and shooting the ball to basket. As you know, you saw Rock out the first night. They had, uh, gosh, they had, they had a, a guy could, uh, that's like, that's like two years ago now, wasn't that long ago. Uh, Cornelius, yeah. that was a good shooter. We got every we played really good defense on him. But every open shot he got, he put it in. Last night with Franklin County, every open shot that Stewart got, he put it in. You know, and and uh, teams do that, and, and that's why I, you know, I, I love Kentucky High School basketball because these 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 kids they got so much heart. Every team we play has a lot of kids with a lot of heart. Seems like the strength that you guys have, though, Lorenzo, is that there's no limit to the number of guys that can step up at any given moment. It, 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 talk about the depth of your team and how important it is. I think everybody on our team uh, can score the ball will, with Will, and we work on it every day, but the most important thing is defense, and I think we all do a pretty good job on both sides. How about this guy's game, how it's progressed? It's been, it's been a pleasure watching him grow, Cal. Okay, really, it really has. Uh, he's brought a level of toughness. Uh, hard, hard work in that attitude. That, that's why I was, I last night's game, his defense, he didn't close up on, on Stewart as tight as I wanted him to because, and I was surprised because, man, he's been, he's coming out gang the last couple of days of practice. And, and hard, Lorenzo, Lorenzo brings it in. And uh, that's, that's why, first of all, that's why I like him so much. He, he works hard every day. He's a tough kid, but also watching him grow as he becomes a better shooter. He already can handle the ball. He's a heck of a defensive player, a rebounder. He's got the toughness. Uh, boy, he, he, he's gonna, you know, he's gonna be a dandy one here before it's all said and done. He's really gonna be a good player. Lorenzo, and watching him grow has just really been a, it's really, it's, really, it's hard one for me because, you know, as a coach, you, that's what you enjoy, the coach, see the players develop. Lorenzo, that Franklin County game that he was talking about last night, uh, Jumping out to a 21 nothing lead like that. That was a game that you guys, you know, on paper, maybe some teams might have overlooked them, but you guys didn't. I mean, just talk a little bit about your attention to detail in that game. Um, every game, it uh, doesn't matter what the team is, we're gonna, we have a game plan every day on what we have to do and we come out and do it how Coach says we should. Coach, you and I were talking. The thing that you liked about that game, and I was impressed too, is that you came out in the first quarter, 21 0, like we said. There was a little bit of a lull when Stewart got hot, and they kind of crawled back in it. Then you came out of the half, and you did the exact same thing in the third same. quarter to really put them away. That's, that was a, the great thing from the coaching standpoint, Cal, is that we almost got two games in last night. Rather than just one game, we actually got two games in last night. And, uh, and then, then we start that old running clock, you know. I, 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 and we had the JV game, and I, I, that's one of the worst rules I, I think has been put in high school basketball because I've coached 40 years. I've never seen one coach deliberately run up on another. And, and, and you know, and, and, and Coach Wise at, at, at Franklin County is one of the finest athletes to ever come through here, all around athlete. He's a great soccer player, uh, kicker in, in sports, good bas really good basketball player. and, and uh, and uh, it was a good time for him and, and us, everybody, to play everybody on the team. But the clock just runs, you know. As, as a coach, it's, it's in your best interest to get everybody in there. When it's 21 right. nothing, you're not going to keep the pedal to the metal. You want to get your, your, your second group some quality time and you get a chance. Yeah, I think you try to take to, toenail everything in, all sports in together. I can see in baseball because you know, sometimes baseball can drag out to be hours long. And football, football sometimes can drag out and be a really long game. The basketball is not that long to start with, you know. You play, and it's a fast-paced game, you get it over. But I, I hope down the road that's when, when Lorenzo gets to be commissioner, he, he'll keep that rule up. <laughs> what do you think of that rule? I mean, it kind of cuts into everybody's playing time a little bit. I mean, do you, do you see it from both sides, or how do you think of it as a player? Yes, I mean, when we get those big leads, I have no clue. <laughs> it's a hard thing. It's, play it's a hard thing. It's a hard thing because you, it, everybody it, wants to play. Right. It, it, you know, it, 
nobody, nobody's going to rub it. You know, in basketball is basketball. You don't have the injury uh, factor like you do in football. And you know, okay, our generation, the history of, of Tony Wise, their coach, his dad, Jack Wise, great athlete came out of here, was a, a referee in the SEC basketball for a long time. His uncle Billy was a commissioner of Kentucky High School Athletic Association. Just a long history of the Wise family around here. And we played Tony when he was at Gainesville, Florida. He was a head coach down there. Had a, we played him in the city of Pine, a great team. He, he brought several teams from Santa Fe High School in that area to the Toyota Classic. And Tony's family moved back here now. And uh, he, he'll get Franklin County going. He, he, he'll do a great job there. But he is one of the, you know, comes from a great family and a really a, a heck of an athlete uh, that, that come from Scott County. One uh, game remaining this particular week, and it's Saturday, and it's going to be a tough one. You play North Laurel, they're coming in here, and they have the leading scorer in the state. Tell me a little bit about him. Peyton Broughton. Gosh, it's like he's been down there for 10 years. He's been around there <laughs> forever playing, and, and uh, he's been a starter, I think, probably since eighth grade down there. He's committed to sign and go to Eastern Kentucky University and play next year, averaging around 35 points a game, somewhere around that area. And, and uh, he can put some, that's going to be a challenge. And, and uh, to, to stop him, but they got some other players. We we saw him play Lorenzo up in the fast lane classic. They played battle right before we played up there in the scrimmage game, and they've got some good players to go with him. I, I you know, I'm surprised. I thought they would would be even easily be a top 20 team in Kentucky, or maybe even maybe even top 10. I think they've had some injuries and stuff, but I noticed they beat Clay County last night, and so they're they're probably primed to really come on and. It should be a good game where a lot of people from Eastern Kentucky live in this area now. It's, it's a lot of, uh, they work at Toyota, go to UK, live in Lexington. So we, we look to have a, you know, a really big night, a Saturday night, good crowd. Lorenzo, you mentioned defense uh, quite a bit today. Uh, as a, as a, from a defensive perspective, you look forward to playing against a player like that? I uh, coach um, Higgs, uh, projects on defense, um, defense and rebounding, and I think if I do both of those things, it'll get me on the floor. Beyond that, looks like uh, the district schedule will be heating up here. Jump right back into district play, and, and those are game. Go to the Bryan Station. It's been a tough game for us at Bryan Station in the last few years. So, uh, you know, we got, got to go to Bryan Station on Tuesday. Then we got Henry Clay on Friday, and, and of course, we can, we can talk about that next week. But yeah, Bryan Station's been a tough place for us the last few years, so we need to go down there and win. Getting down to crunch time, turning the calendar to February, and uh, we look forward to what's what's coming uh, here in the near future as we get closer to the playoffs. Until next week, for Coach Hicks, for Lorenzo, I'm Cal. See you on the side.